Errol Spence is now in training camp and does another interview and lets everybody know exactly what's going down with him and Terrence Crawford. Y'all don't want to miss this one. Make sure that you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subbed to my channel. So Errol Spence, he does a follow-up interview, right? After he did the great interview with him and his lady. In that interview, man, it was dope because Errol Spence talked about a lot of things that we had never heard him talk about before. But the one question that everybody wanted to know, what's going on with him and Terrence Crawford? He talked about it a little bit with his girl, but he didn't really elaborate on it. Well, the interview that he did today, he elaborated on it. And he told us basically, yeah, it's going down for sure, for sure. And the great news is, is Errol Spence is in training camp right now, and he's training for Terrence Crawford. Yeah, he says the fight is going to happen. He didn't give a fight date, and it's funny because in one of the interviews, one of his daughters came and said, Daddy, Daddy, when you fighting? And he caught her, and he said, when you fighting? I'm going to fight when you fight. So Errol Spence was on point. He ain't giving no fight dates. I don't know if he has the fight date for him and Terrence Crawford, but he is in training camp, and he said that the fight is, is definitely going down. And some more great news, and I know a lot of people are not going to believe this. It's hard to believe with all the fake news and all of the bluffing that we've got, you know, in regards to this fight. But one of the big things that he said, he says, you know, we talk often. Because Ellie sat back after we said, man, how often do y'all talk? He said, we actually talk often. We talk at least once every two weeks, you know? It's not always about boxing, but, you know, we talking, we getting things set, and it's definitely going down. Now, if Terrence Crawford pulls out this time, because we know that Errol Spence is all the way a thousand percent in. Again, Errol Spence don't have no backup plans. Like he said with his girl in that interview, is Terrence Crawford a nobody? He's all the way in. I think this time, right, we really might get to fight, but it's real hard for me just to go all the way in and all the way believe it. Until I see them with a date, right, a real date, until I see the camps come out with a date, right, and a venue and all of that, it's hard to believe. But also, Errol Smith also talked about not taking the tuna. And he says that he feels that if he goes through a 10 or 8 week training camp, he can't get no better. He says, you know, you get all the rust off and you get everything that you need in that 10 to 8 week training camp. Some fighters is different like that. But some fighters, they need a few tune-ups, you know what I'm saying? So he just feels that he don't need no tune-up because he get everything that he need to get in the training camp. Now, one thing about EJ, he is a workhorse. He got one of the best work ethics. When it comes to the gym and training camp, he got one of the best work ethics that you will ever see. That man will go 15 rounds straight, non-stop in sparring, and he'll be switching out sparring partners all the way through. You know, and it's only a few fighters in boxing, right, even in the past, that you can say that really get down like that. If you even see him in the media workout, he working out straight through and he ain't taking no breaks. Real talk on some Floyd Mayweather type shit. So, EJ, you one thing you know is he going to come in the fight in shape, in tip-top shape. And to me, I mean, Terrence Crawford got a real problem on his hands, but I'm not counting Terrence Crawford out because Bud can fight. This going to be a hell of a fight. When they step in the ring with each other, this is going to be a hell of a fight because both of these men, they got egos and they got a whole lot to prove and now one of them want to lose to the other one. You know what I'm talking about? It's for undisputed. Everything is on the line. So when they tell you that belts don't matter, they a damn lie. Because in this situation, belts do matter. This is what we want to see. The best fighting the best with everything on the line. It don't get no better than this. You know what I'm talking about? And the great thing is, after all of the waiting and all of the lies and all of the fake news, we still getting both of these fighters in their prime. Yeah, EJ been had all his layoffs. And yeah, Terrence Crawford, he older. But Terrence Crawford ain't lost no step. You know what I'm talking about? He Ever since he came to 147 pounds, he kind of changed his style. He not on his toes moving around. He coming in there to get your ass up out of there. 
You know what I'm talking about? In his fighting style that he's had ever since he came to 147, he ain't showed that he lost no step in Earl Spence. We saw him in the Ugas fight. He looked great in the Ugas fight after a year layoff, and he ain't lost no step. You know what I'm talking about? So both of these fighters is still in their prime, and they going to get it on. They going to try to kill each other. Errol Spence said, you know, hey, Terrence Crawford is cool. I like him. Ox says, well, you know, Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence, y'all kind of like each other. Y'all are similar in a lot of ways. I mean, I guess you could say that they kind of both quiet they both don't like to be in front of the camera and Errol Spence he, he agreed he said yeah we are similar in a lot of ways and but he said you know he cool I like him but when he get in, when I get in the ring with him I'm trying to kill him so I'm trying to kill him when I get in the ring he said I don't care who you are he says my spar partner some of my partners I've been cool with for 15 years or more when we get in that ring and spar I'm trying to kill you and EJ, man, he a real savage like that. He don't care who you are. Like, you will hit him and he'll smile at you because he like that. You know what I'm talking about? Terrence Crawford is going to definitely be in the ring with a type of fighter that he ain't never faced before. You can believe that. Now, you can't say the same thing about Errol Spence. Errol Spence been in the ring with some killers. Has he been in the ring with anybody on the level of Terrence Crawford? On paper, no. But... He might have. Look at Kell Brook. Look at the level that Kell Brook was on when Errol Spence fought Kell Brook. Kell Brook was the boogeyman of the 147-pound division when EJ fought him. Keith Thurman didn't want to fight him. Danny Garcia didn't want to fight him. None of them dudes wanted to fight Kell Brook. Sean Porter didn't even want to rematch with Kell Brook after he whooped Sean Porter. So you can't say that EJ ain't been in the ring with a killer like Terrence Crawford. But you definitely can say that Bud ain't never been in the ring with nobody on the level of Errol Spence. He ain't. You know what I'm talking about? But all in all, I think that these are the two best fighters in the welterweight division. They are Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence. I got EJ number one. I got Terrence Crawford number two. But the great thing about it is when they do lock up in the ring, we get to see who is the best with all of the belts on the line. You know what I'm talking about? So, yeah, EJ, he's training. He in training camp. Uh, he looked like that he's in shape already. Of course, he got weight to cut. Of course, Terrence Crawford, he going to have a lot of weight to cut. Both of them going to have weight to cut. But they not out of shape. And now one of them fat and out of shape. And they been training. But now he is an official training camp. And I look for this fight to happen. Let's say late July. Maybe early August. We'll see. You know what I'm saying? We'll see. But from the, what he says. It's definitely going down. And we ain't really heard EJ say nothing like that before. It's definitely going down. He also talked about all of the fake news dates. That they was coming out with before. He says man. We would just laugh laugh at that and he says a lot of people was losing money on flights and hotels and booking hotels and just losing out on money on these things because they was listening to all this fake news so he says don't listen to none of that wait till we come out with the news right so when y'all hear breaking news and it ain't from EJ's team it's not from Terrence Crawford's team don't listen to it Wait till the official, official news come out from the camps before y'all start booking plane tickets and hotel reservations and all of that. But yeah, he said it's going down. I don't expect everybody to believe it. I'm still on the fence with it myself. But let me know what y'all think. Do y'all think it's really going down this time? Or do y'all think that Terrence Crawford is going to duck out the back door again? Hit my like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subbed. And y'all already know how I do. There you go talking that boxing again. And I'm gone.